Hey guys, uh, there was a small Comic Con in our uh, city today called C4 uh, Comic and Toy Expo. So my son and I went and checked it out. Uh, we got home a little while ago, but I've been busy doing other stuff. So I want to show you guys what I got. My boy got a Ghostbusters Lego. He's trying to put it together right now, but I picked up one of the ones I'm needed. It's Mr. Burns. So all I need now is um, Ralph. There's this really cool artist that lives in our city. Uh, his books, he's got four hardcover books I have, and he's all autographed them all for me. But uh, he's the it's from the Imagination Manifesto. And this is a really great artist. These two books were limited to 200. Oh, well, that was nice. My wife just gave me a show there. <laughs> uh, he made two new books, but they're softcover books. And they're limited to 200. So it's called uh, Ray Gun Gothic, A Man Who Cannot Die... Uh, a man who cannot die must still choose what he li what to live for. It's a really cool artwork inside. This one I really liked. Uh, if you saw the whole picture of this, <clears throat> this is Raygun Gothic as well. But uh, this is a guy on riding a dragon with a sword and a shot, like kind of a shotgun kind of thing, and he's fighting robots and flying machines. And this is limited to 200 as well. He autographed and drew a picture inside for me uh, for both of those too. I got two trade, uh, sorry, treasury editions today. I got the uh, it's the Bible. This is in fantastic condition. Like it's almost like off the printing press there. And I picked up Shazam and Superman. I didn't have this one yet. Really cool cover. Didn't pay full cover price for these, of course, because I don't like doing that. <laughs> I I also got one video game. Oh, my birds are loud again. I also picked up a Super NES game of Godzilla. He looks like the Godzilla from 1985. Let's try this one. Oops. Oops, where is it? There? Godzilla. Godzilla. I also, there's a. Oh, I'm just going to shift over here. There was a, a, a new role playing, uh, kind of like old board games, dice games, and role playing games. It's a new company that just started in our city, and they were there. They were selling all these, is from GURPS. Like it's a, sort of like a generic kind of uh, role playing game. So you can see here. Steve Jackson's GURPS generic universal role-playing system. This one's a little beat up. This is the worst one of the other ones, of the ones. But, uh, I'll just shift this a bit. I thought these were pretty cool. South America, book six. Uh, I got this one. It kind of looked like Robotech in a way. I, th I thought it'd be, that looked really cool. My son and I can play this. Aliens Unlimited. So it's a whole bunch of different books with different kinds of stuff on them, uh, obviously. Rifts, conversion book. Uh, coalition, war campaign. It's a cool looking robot, actually. GURPS fantasy. I picked up a whole different bunch of kinds of them. GURPS time travel. So I guess these are just like rule books on what you're supposed to do during, for like, uh, to do time travel, I guess, and how to, how to handle it for the, for the game. Because you can make this kind of game, you can make up anything you want. Uh, robots, bold experiments, faithful servants, and soulless killers. That just sounded cool to me. <laughs> uh, GURPS. Like some of them are not so great, but some of them are just like they haven't been used. Uh, Shadow of Evil. I thought that looked really cool. Like uh, three galaxies. Uh, Rifts Game Master Guide. So this is like a huge, thick book. It's a, like a, I guess it's like a Dungeon Master Guide or something. This one I got because of Free Quebec. <laughs> I just stuck them up in your Canada. So and then I got this one, Rifts Canada. I thought this looked really cool, to be honest. It's got some spine roll, though, because they were sitting in a box and they were twisting. So this one's been twisted pretty bad. i got to try to bend that back to where it was. I'm going to leave all the books on it to hold it down. As you can see, there's quite a bit. Vampire Kingdoms. I thought that just looked wicked. Coalition Wars. Uh, Rifts. Sorry, I can't have to look down. I keep moving the thing on you, but Rifts Lone Star. This one looked really cool. Book One Wormwood. That just looks awesome. I don't know. It just looks so cool to me. I get to try to read all these and play the books, I guess. Book of Magic. And this is a really thick one. But guess how much I paid for all these books? Two dollars a piece. Couldn't believe it. So, 
I'm going to try put these back. i got to try to bend that Canada one back. Hopefully I can hold on a second here. Sorry guys, I'm just going to put this sort of on top of these ones so I can try to bend it. Maybe I can get it to bend back. But I couldn't believe it, two bucks a piece. It's like, okay, this is hours of fun for me and the boy. Sorry, I don't want to make you guys dizzy there. Oh, there was much more too, but I didn't want to spend, hold on, I'm just going to put you down for a second. There we go. Sorry about that, did I put you down? Uh, the next thing I got was some magazines. I thought this was pretty cool. 1964, Horror at the Beach, the Vark Beach Party, Bizarre Adventures. I didn't have this one. Obviously, I, I bought it, so I didn't have it. Tomb of Dracula. I thought it was a really cool cover. I thought I had this one, but it was such a cool... He gave me such a good deal, and I took it another one. I think I may have this, or I have this in comic form, but it's it. Masters of Terror, number one. I got a rebag and board that one. Uh, Tomb of Dracula, special, last issue. Mole people, I've never even heard of this one. That looks freaking wild. I'm thinking it looks like uh, it, it looks like it's just you know pictures with words put into it, but so yeah, a terrifying story told in 500 photos. Just just I thought he just grabbed me. It was so cheap. He actually uh, it says 10, but I actually paid less than that. Uh, some other cool stuff I picked up were some trade uh, some trade paper like a. Uh, Pocket books, uh, the Hulk, Daredevil. There was a price tag here, and bad me. I tried taking it off, and it ripped the dang thing off of it. But Daredevil book. I don't have any of these ones, which is cool. Uh, Stan Lee uh, presents Spider-Man: His Greatest Team Ups, Team Up Battles. Really cool looking one. This one is really beat up, but this is the Avengers. Battle of the Earth record, and it's actually a chapter book. Like, it has words and stuff in it. Words in it. They all have words. This one I got messed up on. I paid... I found this one. It was in really good shape. Paid a little more. It looks like it's a Canadian edition. I think it's from up here in Canada. Um, it's like the newspaper article like, uh, from the comics, and it's reprinted in book form. So I paid... I thought I paid okay for this one. I go to another table... And I find another one way cheaper. So I was like, oh, screw that. I'm buying this one too. This one I got, I got one to read. This one's almost as good a shape, if not the same. So now I got one to read and one to keep. And then I found that guy also had number two. So again, full color from the newspapers. Thought that was pretty cool. And this one I thought was really cute. I had to get this one. Super Junior's Holiday Special. Uh, that's a pri that's not that's just a price tag. I tried to pull off the plastic, so that's not that's right in Superman's face, but that's not on the book. The book's really cool. It's a great shape. Now the comics I bought. My boy found this one for me. I was I didn't even know like, the price at the top isn't what I paid again. I I know the guy really well, so he gave me a deal on it. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna try to shift this over a little bit, so I have somewhere to put the comics as I, as we look at them. But this is the death of Pharaoh Lad here. I thought I liked the cover. I, I thought I'd get that one. Got Aquaman number three. Those poor fish. I got a. Uh, some of these are in Mylar too, which is really cool. I'm not, I, I, I like Mylar, but Mylar, but I don't really buy a lot by it. It's really expensive. Uh, 100 page special. 256 of Batman. Wicked cool. Oh, it's stuck. Oh no, that's just how big it is. It's a 100 page special, really thick one. Uh, there's another one, number 257. I'm really loving that Gotham show. I don't know what else is, but uh, I'm really liking that one. Uh, number 259 of Batman. There's the shadows there and new costumes. Got a great deal on these. Ghosts, number two. I fell in love with the cover. He knew I'd love this cover. So, look at that. Isn't that just a wicked cover? Mission Supernatural, Ghost Battalion. So it's Ghosts number two. We got way higher here. Uh, this is Ghosts number 74. I want to try to complete a lot of my runs, but it's getting... Exp House of Mystery number one, 108, sorry. The Four Faces of Frank, Frank Forbes. Cool. Big Worm. That kind of... This is uh, House of Secrets number 24. 
if you take away the eyes and the mouth and the antenna, uh, maybe that's, you know, it sounds sick. That looks like uh, Beast, Beast Boy or Chameleon Boy's uh, Winky there. I don't know. <laughs> that's getting sick now. It's just cool. Um, this is number 40 of House of Secrets. I'd really love to finish these two runs, House of Secrets, House of Mystery. Number 48. Uh, this is a cool one, House of Secrets. This is the origin of Patchwork Man. Isn't that, the guy looks just wicked. House of Secrets number 153. Phantom Stranger number 18. Phantom Stranger number 21. Unexpected. He... I usually get a lot more from him, but he, I've, I bought most of his stuff. So 158 for Unexpected. And a great series, amazing series. It's Midnight at the Witching Hour. It's number 16. Really great cover. Awesome. Got some Man Thing. Uh, number 12. And I also got the Man Thing number 15. And I got a Vault of Evil, number 14. He likes to write on here what it is in Dead Co. and stuff. And that's a nice cover, too. And I got some Charlton comics, which is great. This is in good, great shape. Uh, the Ghost Manor, number 7. Cool. And Ghostly Tales. And the last one's a war comic. And it's Sergeant Rock. He didn't have. I, I need quite. A, I need about thirty issues of this, and he only had this one. So, still, I love Sergeant Rock. It's probably the only one of the war comics I love, except when soldiers fight dinosaurs in Star Spangled War Stories. Well, that's it, guys. Thanks for sticking around. I want to show you my little haul here. Like, there it is again. Well, that's that's from other day. <laughs> there's some stuff over there. And there's some stuff over there. I'll leave you with the mole people. Take care, guys.